Are you tired of scouring the auction house for the perfect transmog appearance only to find out that it's not new or it's way too expensive? Well, have no fear my transmog loving friends because I've got the inside scoop on how you can keep your gold in your pocket and your wardrobe looking absolutely fresh. With the recent 10.0.5 patch, there have been some major changes to the transmog system. Gray and white items are now transmogable, meaning that there are thousands of new appearances for you to collect. But with this addition comes a huge possibility of getting scammed on your prices. That's why I'm here to show you two ways to save your hard earned gold and get that flashy new transmog appearance. And I'll also be sharing a bonus tip, so make sure that you stick around. So first, let's talk about the big one, which is all the things add on. This handy little tool shows you the banner under an item if you haven't collected it yet. So when you're scrolling through the auction house looking for that juicy new transmog, double check that you don't already have the appearance. Once you have all the things add on installed, all you have to do is hover your mouse over the item and directly under the sell price, you'll see a blue lettered banner that tells you if you have or have not collected the transmog appearance. If the banner isn't there, then you have already collected the transmog appearance. The ATT add-on is a must have for transmog collecting and so much more. If you already have the add-on for my previous top gold making add-ons video, then make sure that you comment hardcore goblin down below. The second way for you to save gold on transmog is by using the dressing room. Before you buy an item, Hover over the item and press control left click on your mouse to bring it up in the dressing room so that you can see the appearance. Now, if you come over to the right and hover over the item, it will show you all the additional items that share the appearance. So let's take this one for example. I'm looking at the Stone Reaper two-handed axe and this has the same appearance as the Balanced War Axe and the Splintering Axe. And if you look here on my server, the Stone Reaper is going for 25 gold while the Balanced War Axe is selling for 750 gold. And that is a huge price difference for the same appearance, so don't get tricked. Now, you might be wondering what the bonus tip is. It's not really a secret, but it may disappoint some goblins. The dressing room also shows you how items are obtained. Most will show you world drop, but some of the better weapon transmogs that have been added in this patch will now also show you vendor. That means obviously that there is a vendor in the world that sells this item. You just have to find out where. But what that also means is that instead of having to buy, for example, the Maghari Axe for 250k, you can find it at a vendor for pennies. With the all the things add on and the dressing room feature, you'll be able to save your gold and get the perfect transmog appearance. And with the bonus tip, you can also find the best deals and even obtain a lot of these items from vendors. Now, whether you're wanting to find the vendors for personal transmog or you're a goblin wanting to sell these items, then my new upcoming videos on all the vendor locations will greatly interest you. So make sure that you click on them here once they're up.